Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for the 25th of November to December 2nd. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you are returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and become a part of our collective. Let's dive in and see what is going on for you this week, Aries. We have the Four of Pentacles, Justice, Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands. Okay. Also, please thank you for your patience as I get my voice back. You know, obviously I'm not like at a hundred yet. So everybody just calm down. I'm fine. I'm just going through a lot of upgrades right now, babe. Okay. Okay, cool. Kazimi into the heart. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. My excuse you. Balance. Oh, okay. So let's talk about the fact that you're down here. Oh. Let's talk about the fact that you're down here. Okay. Emperor, King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. I don't think this week is a bad week. Like, let me preface that while I pull out these cards. What I am going to, this, why does this week feel this way? Can I, sorry, I love you. You know, I'm an Aries, but I need to know something right now. I need to see what's happening astrologically because the readings I've been doing this week. Mercury opposite Jupiter, Mercury square Saturn. No, I lied. That is for December. We're in end of November. Uh, Mercury stations retrograde. It all makes sense now. Okay, so let me tell you what I was picking up on. There's this like weird energy in the air right now. And I was like, what is this weird energy? And every reading that I've done has this like underlying weirdness to it. And I'm like, is it me? Is it because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm recovering. I'm going through energetic upgrades. I'm obviously not like my, my typical self. And I'm like, no, man, this is like something up there. Okay. And it's, it's Mercury station in retrograde. What, here's what I'm going to tell, tell you. Okay. So this week is where potentially not that shit could hit the fan, but shit could hit the fan. Okay. Misunderstandings, miscommunication, feeling like you're fighting, but like instead of the fight moving forward to a like resolution, it's like creating a bigger fight, if that makes sense. Okay. And we have into the heart Kazemi. Kazemi is this um, aspect in the cosmos. Okay. Where it literally like, for example, a Kazemi can happen when the sun and Mercury come together. Okay. Or a Kazemi can happen when the sun and, um, um, what you might call it, Jupiter come together. Okay. Kazemis are literally like this amplification, lumification, lumification. That's such English. Um, lumification of this energy. And what I'm seeing here with all this fire, Sagittarius season is upon us, Aries. Okay. Hide your kids, hide your wife. I'm just going to say that. Please, for the love of God, do not be getting into any altercations, any arguments, any fights. Don't say, I didn't warn you. Okay? Don't don't come back to me a week from now and be like, Sure, you never told that. I am I am telling you right now. Balance. Okay? I bring a perfect state of harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. Look, this four of pentacles to justice situation tells me that you're trying to control something here. I love you. I'm also going to tell you how it is, Aries to Aries. The more that you try and control this financial situation or the more that you try and like control this outcome, you, the more that you're going to isolate yourself, dude, and then there's going to be a course correction. Justice coming in is cause and effect, baby. You reap what you sow. Yes, it's law. Yes, it's all this stuff, but it's also like you reap what you sow. And then with the Ten of Wands to the Ace of Wands, it's like you have an opportunity here to avoid literally a disaster, a disaster of sorts. Ten of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the source turning on and going, put down the damn wands, Aries. Not everything is a massive war. Pick your battles. Pick your battles, baby boo. Pick them. Pick them. Don't pick the, the ones that don't need to be picked. Okay? 
Knight of Wands to Seven of Wands. Yeah, man. Somebody here who could really like instigate or entice you. There could be a lot of passion, a lot of energy here. Look, instead of focusing your energy on this particular person that I think is going to you know, you and them like to stir the pot together, focus on your money, focus on your abundance, focus on your longevity, focus on your stability, focus on your wealth, focus on your success, focus on the things that you can cultivate and co-create in your life to provide you with happiness, joy, bliss, ease, peace. You get what I'm saying? And with the six of swords, yeah, swords is saying, cool it. Look at all this fire, water. If we have a fire and then we pour water, what happens? Fire go bye-bye. If we have water in a pot and then we have fire underneath, what happened? Water boil. We don't want water boil. We want fire relaxed. Okay? Okay. Because specifically around your money and your finances, dude, yeah, judgment to the empress. I'm also going to say this to you, Aries. If you owe somebody money, better pay up. Pay your money. Pay your money, honey. Somebody may be coming around the corner. Oh, why did I pull this? Yeah. Anyways, manifest what you desire. Clearly, this was wanting to come in out. It says your life is an, uh, as a canvas artist manifestation, creative accountability. Right? So focus on that. Yeah, look at that. Repressed desires here. Don't let your ego get in the way this week. Calm your titties. Okay, relax. Relax. I got you. All right, let's dive into your love reading here. You did get Aphrodite as the amulet. So I think a lot of this has to do with like your love, your peace, your harmony, your luxury, your material possessions, your stability, your security. Four of cups here. Three of swords. This could very well have to do with an X. Mercury retrograde. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't let them come back. Knight of Pentacles here with the world. Four of Pentacles, five, uh, four of Cups, five, five of Swords, nine of Cups, three of Swords. Yeah, like, yes, sure, once upon a time, you and this person had a really nice relationship and whatever, whatever, but there's a reason why this relationship didn't work out. And sources literally, dude, turning around and saying, like, you gotta drop this thing. You guys gotta find a, a, a common ground, find a, a find balance, find peace, find ease, put the wands down, stop fighting. You move your way, they move their way, find the middle ground and uh, like transmute this energy of like passion and drive and, and creativity and learn how to make it work for you in a way that is productive. Potentially in a way to help you manifest more money, dude. Even be, Aphrodite being here, it's like love yourself enough to know when to detach from something that is just creating more product, more, more, more chaos in your life, provocation in your life. That's siphoning your energy, baby. You don't need that shit. You're too good for that. Hello, we're Aries. We're numero uno. Right? Right. I'm going to pop this video here about manifesting money. If you want to book a session with me, you want to work with me in any capacity, it's down in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.